Okay, question number eight from practice paper C, Pure Maths 2, International A Level. Given that A is greater than B, which is greater than zero, and that A and B satisfy this equation, log A minus, it's not very well printed, minus log B equals log A minus B, show that A equals B squared over B minus 1. So we're going to use the laws of logarithms to deal with this. Now these two can be combined into one statement, okay, which is, this is a subtraction, so you can use division. The, it says log, it means log to the base 10. Okay, whenever it doesn't mention any base, it means to the base 10. So we don't have to write uh, log to the base 10. That's what it by convention means. So this is log to the base 10, which you don't have to write, um, of A over B. I can rewrite this in this form using the laws of logarithms. When you have two logs to the same base subtracted, you can write them as one log with the what the, the log that they're two divided by each other. And this is one log term. You can't divide these because this is already inside the log. It's a log of A minus B. It's not log A minus log B. There's a difference between these two. Okay, what you can't do, some people think, they, oh, this is log A minus log B, as if log is like a X, you know, X A minus X B. No, log is not like that. Log by itself actually has no meaning in maths. In, in English, it means something maybe, a log of a tree. But in maths, it means nothing. Just by it has to have a log of something. This is log of all of that in the bracket. So you can't just like expand it in that way. Anyway, so that's what this becomes. Now we can, if you have the log to the base 10 of something equals log to the base 10 of something, those two somethings must be the same. Just like when we have 2 to the power of, say, uh, just when we have, say, 2 to the power of x equals 2 to the power of, you know, z, then x must equal z. Okay, so the same thing here, log to the base 10 of something equals log to the base 10 of something, those two somethings must be equal. So that means a over b must be the same as a minus b. Okay, so we want to um, show that a equals b squared over b minus 1. So we're going to make a the subject of this. So let's, the first thing we do, um, multiply through by b. So you have a equals b times a minus b. Now, we can, we want the a to come on together on one side because we want to make a the subject. So let's just expand that. That's a b minus b squared. The b squared is positive in our answer. So let's add b squared to both sides and take away a from both sides. So we got a b minus a equals b squared. We can take out a as common. a times b minus 1 equals b squared. And we can then divide by b minus 1. So a is going to be b squared divided by b minus 1. Okay, now the second part of the question, part b, says write down the full restriction on the value of b Explain the reason for this restriction. Okay, I can see straight away restriction is going to be the fact that b cannot equal 1. b cannot equal 1. Why? Because b minus 1, okay, when b equals 1, you'll have this is going to be 0. When b equals 1, b minus 1 equals 0, therefore this, the denominator will be 0 denominator okay is zero therefore it will be undefined okay it's going to be undefined if b is equal to one all right now there was some stuff that they wrote in the beginning of the question and i'm pretty sure that should have something to do with it as well why would they tell us this it's obviously got something to do with this a is greater than b is greater than zero so when they give you some stuff like that sometimes you got to think of it now. If A is greater than B is greater than zero, that means A and B are both positive. They're both positive. Okay, now if A is positive, then that means B squared over B minus 1 has to also be positive. Okay. Now, that means... Uh, we know that b squared is always positive. 
is always positive. So we know that this must also be always positive. So that means B minus 1 has to always be positive. So B must be greater than 1. So basically uh, B has to be, the condition is B must be greater than 1 because A has to be positive. For A to be positive, okay, for A to be positive, b squared over b minus 1 has to be positive because that's what a is equal to this is always positive all right because if you put even a negative value it's going to be so this is always going to be positive that means this must b minus 1 has to be positive otherwise if this becomes negative that's always going to be a positive no matter what b is going to be then this will become a negative value which means this won't be fulfilled okay so a is greater than b is greater than 0 so b must be greater than 1 Okay, B has to be greater than 1, so not only can it not be equal to 1, it has to be greater than 1. Okay, it has to be greater than 1. Okay, so there we have, um, okay, we can put in words, otherwise, okay, we can say, whoops, otherwise, and I think my computer needs some rebooting here okay so otherwise you can say otherwise okay a will be negative okay so I hope that was clear all right it's a bit they, they did give that stuff there for a reason Okay, so there's the answer for that question. I'm going to restart the computer and do the next part of the question on the next video because this is starting to lag a bit.